Hi, I'm going to use this recording to run through how you can connect Wix to Mick. Took a while to figure this out and a lot of thanks go to the support team at Make and the support team at Wix. These instructions, while correct, miss out a few small nuances that actually help you make this connection work. So I'm going to run through them very quickly. I can do this quickly because I've got very good at creating these connections. I'll click through all the various different trial and errors of making it work. So this first bit is correct, but I am going to run you through a very important piece here in this, this process. So go to your site. And depending on which version of uh, Wix you're running, we're running Wix Studio, you'll be a need to create a custom app. So go ahead and do that. Click on custom app. And you can see all the tests that we've run through, and these are there are way more than this in the beginning. Anyway, create a new app built from scratch. It's self-hosted. Hit get started. I'm just reading the app, so this is connection demo. So I'm going to delete this so for any security people when I show you where the secret key is, it won't exist. And the next piece is important. It's about setting the permissions. And you can see that in the documentation, it says you need to set these permissions for it to work. That in itself is not necessarily true because I have managed to get it work without any of these permissions because I'm just using a straightforward API call. I only mention this because what I'm about to show you next is the most important thing in making the connection between Wix and Make, which when it works is awesome, by the way. So let me show you how that happens. At the minute, we all we've done is in here, gone in and created this demo app. And now you go into permissions. And by default, you'll have this permission. For completeness, I'm going to show you how to put all of these permissions in because they're not obvious anymore because Wix are reordering things. So I'm just going to do that in silence because I'll fast forward it. So here I've started uh, adding these permissions that the make documentation says you need. And the way to do it, the best way is just to type in and then select them. As I mentioned, I found out that having these permissions all correct is actually not the most important thing in making the connection. So I'm just going to pause and I'm going to go and do all the ones in the documentation. So now I've added all the permissions, hit save. At this point, this is the critical step. In the documentations, it says to add the advanced auth URLs. Do not do that yet. What you need to do now is test your app. And you do that by clicking none of these two. Hit dashboard. Hit test app. Then select the site, the production site you want to install it on. Click add to site. Agree and add and then view all apps. And you will now see the one you've just created. In my case, it's called DE Connection Demo. At this point, you're not connected to make.com yet, but this is an important piece in terms of getting the connection to work. Now that you've done this, and for this purpose, demo I've run through was DE connection demo. Now that it's connected to your Wix site, 
as in you can see it in your manage apps section on the live website that you want to connect with. This is when you do the final step, which helps you connect it to make .com. Only now, once you've got this connection, do you go back to the app you created, expand the advanced auth, and put in the URLs as to the documentation and hit save. So the mistake that I was making was putting all of this in and then connecting, doing the test. And it is actually this test that gives your app all the permission. And now go into make. I'm assuming you're familiar with make because otherwise why would you be watching this type Wix? And here, cl click on the Wix, whatever you want to do. Now these, the permissions in all of these or the ones that are in the standard make documentation. So if you don't want to do any of this, like in our case, we just wanted to make an API call to fetch CMS items. You, like I said before, you don't actually need all those permissions. But let's, for our sake, say I, I want to do something that requires those permissions, search products. Now, this is where you add a new connection. So let me be thorough and use the name of the app that we just created. Go back into the app, click on OAuth, copy the app ID, put the app ID in, then you add the app secret. And yes, this is going to be deleted, so don't fret. Now at this point, when you create this connection, you will go through this authorization process again. Make sure you select the same site. Agree and add. And then you're connected and everything works. Now let me show you what I mean by those connections aren't actually critical as in uh, as in these permissions aren't critical because here I am running a query which is just a custom API call using the same connector can I run it and it works and it returns the right information. And I'm going to show you the permissions I've got on this particular app. This particular app, I called it DE test three. Select the app. If you see the permissions in here, I've only given it Wix data permissions because that's all I want to do. And this connection works. And it's the one that's running this module. The reason this is good is you can have apps and make sure that you're only giving them the permissions that you actually want to use in your make.com scenarios, which is very good for security because otherwise you over permission stuff and that can create a vulnerability. You will in time want to maybe expand the permissions. And here again, this is where it becomes very important. This is what I discovered about what you need to do to make that connection. If you want to expand the permissions, let's say you want to add a permission to this and you want to manage stores. Let's say you want to add all permissions in here. At this point, in order for it to work, it won't just work in make.com. This is very important. This is the next bit. You need to go in here and you need to remove these again. Hit save. And with then removed, go through the same process. Test your app. Select the site. 
how it's installed. And now, add these back in. After you've done that, hit save. And then in make, go to the connections. And now hit reauthorize. If you think you can just add new permissions and go straight to reauthorize, it won't work. You need that step of removing those links, going through that process, and then re-adding it. So I know it seems a bit crazy to do those steps, but trust me, that is, at the time of recording, the most critical step of making sure that your connection between make.com and your Wix.com site is robust. So I hope this has been helpful to someone because I literally spent days and the guys at Wix support and make support also spent days. So I hope this is useful.